Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lesson for the fine part advanced learning. So today the topic will be on the table and chart linkage and joy. And uh, for the contact, we'll go over two examples to show you about the different linkage and drawing style in fine part. So very first, we have the contact looking section one. We have the draw charts from tables, and also for the section two, we will have draw tables from charts. All right, so now let's get started. So here's the example one. So when clicking on the East China of the table, as you can see, we can see the pop-up window for the corresponding East China uh, chart for the data analyze. So that's going to be our first example. So very first, let's open designer. And in here, we're going to design our table, select our data set. All right, so very first, we're going to create our DB query dataset. Select all from self volume, as you can see from the example. That's going to be our main tables dataset. And we have two different regions, East China and North China. So next, we're going to design our table. Just uh, typing different titles for its corresponding data column. So we have region, salesperson, um, product type, product, and sales volume. So let's make this a little bit wide for the column. All right, so we have the product type. The product name. And also we have the sales volume. So right now we're just making a very simple table. We're not making it too um, complicated because all we have to want to show is the drawing and the linkage relationship between this table and the chart we're gonna make. So as you can see, we have the corresponding data column drag into the corresponding cell from E2 to E2. And also making a little bit format for this table. So for now, we're already down the 99% of making the first table. And then let's save it and then give it a preview to see what's inside the table. So let's call this one just table. All right. So next, let's hit the preview button to see test our result. So as you can see, we have the region tail cells volume this kind of summary table showing in our site. So that's the first step. So next, I'm going to make another chart for the uh, specific regions corresponding chart. And in here, I'm going to use pie chart. So for this pie chart, we're going to still use the sales volume data set as our data table, since we want to pass the corresponding identical uh, data to this chart from the table. So the next step, we're going to make a one parameter inside this circle language, which is region, because we want to use uh, click on different regions from the table to see different regions uh, cell summary. So in here, we're going to use the circle command where region equals to the parameter region to create our parameter. All right, so as we hit the refresh button, we already have the parameter and we can set our uh, default value to East China. And then we can also leave this blank as well. So as we check in, we can see every data under the region East China. So that's the idea for making the parameter and we're gonna edit in the first table later in this class. So next, we're gonna select a large area of the cell, merge it to make our chart. So in here, we're going to use the pie chart. All right, so the next step, move on to the right side, right hand pane, we're going to editing our data for this pie chart. So for the data set, we're going to use DS1, which is the cell volume, same as the first one. And also the category is going to be none, since we only want one chart. 
the series from the different salesperson showing on different part of the chart. And also the summary is going to be the value sales volume, the summary. So next we want to change our style, which is the heading for this chart. So in here we're going to type the parameter region. So in this way, when click, we click on different uh, region, it's going to show different regions title. All right, so right now we already made the simple chart table and we're going to save it as well. So, so far we're already pretty much done with everything. The only thing left is to making a parameter. So, but before that, let's just take a look at the final chart we have. And in here, as you can see, we don't have the title because we don't have the parameter passing. So this is just a general summary table for every region, sales version, sales volume. So next, let's go back to the table. And then here we want to change the region using hyperlink here on the right hand pane to add a web report. So the web report is going to be the chart table we just made. And also you can click on the link opening the dialog box. So that's going to be a pop-up pop box. So that's just different stuff for the passing. So next we have the most important step to linkage this region between the parameter in the pie chart. So in here we're going to type uh, the region here as our parameter. So let's go back to the web report. So we have the region is equal to the formula. So we're here going to use the three dollar sign to represent the clear clicking value, which is region. All right. So by far, we already done everything for this table and chart linkage. So let's take a look at our final result. So as you can see, we have the region is China showing in the blue side. That indicates we have a hyperlink insert here. So as we're clicking it, we can see the different uh, chart corresponding to the East China. And also same thing from North China as well. So that's a simple idea for making this uh, table and chart linkage. All right, so next we have our section two, which is draw table from the chart. So same idea, the only thing is flipping the order. So in here, we want to have our um, pie chart showing, and by clicking a different section of pie chart, we're going to have the corresponding uh, detail table. So very first, we're going to make our pie chart. So still, we're going to use um, sales volume, this data table, as our data set. So select all from sales volume. So the next step, we're going to quickly make our pie chart. So merge a larger area of this uh, cell section. And uh, next, we're going to insert our pie chart. So in here, we want to uh, click on different salesperson to drill to the corresponding detail table about the um, detail selling of this salesperson. So this set for this data is going to be this one. And category three is going to be none. The series is going to be sales person. That's which part we're going to click on it. And also the showing volume is going to be the sales volume. And uh, the summary is going to be the total. So still going to save this run really quick. Name it as um, chart one. All right. So let's. Let's get rid of the title and uh, take a look at the pie chart we already made. So as you can see, we have this one pie chart showing different conformance, which is different salesperson. And the idea is by clicking on different sections from the pie chart, we're going to uh, pop up, which is drawing the corresponding table, showing the detailed selling from the salesperson. So we're going to create another uh, template, which is our table. Still going to use sales volume, this data table. 
So let's preview it. As you can see, we have different region, different salesperson, and also have different product, product type, and sales volume. So in here, we're gonna create our parameter. Salesperson equals to SP. In here, we just use a shortcut for this um, par parameter. So remember, salesperson is gonna be our parameter for section two's example, since we want to pass in the salesperson parameter in order to get different um, detail table. So that's gonna be the drawing part. So in here, we're gonna use Sunly as our default uh, salesperson. And you can see we have the corresponding data to selling. selling. So for this table, let's type in the corresponding uh, detail title and drag the corresponding data column first. So we have the region, the salesperson, the product type, product, and also we have the sales volume. All right, so next let's make this row a little bit wider. All right, so next we're going to draw corresponding information to this detail table. <coughs> next, we're going to give it a frame. And save it. So let's call this one um, table two, table one. All right. So by far, we're already pretty much done with making this detail report. So let's take a quick look. So since the default parameter is Sunlin, so obviously we're gonna have the salesperson Sunlin showing on this detail report. So that's the idea. So next, let's go back to the chart one to making the parameter drawing. So remember, we don't use the hyperlink from the right hand pane. Instead, we're using the special effect on the cell element. In here, we have another option for the hyperlink. So this is where we're going to add a hyperlink for the pie chart. So it's a little different between table. So in here, we're going to select um, table one. So as for why we have to use special effect to select the hyperlink is because if you just directly using the hyperlink option from the right hand pane, it's going to be corresponding to the cell which is the whole large area so in here we have the parameter sp remember it's identical and also we have the um, cells name series name so that's why we have to choose a hyperlink from here for the chart so in this way the system will remember that the parameter is passing to different series all right so that's pretty much done with this um, chart and the table drawing. So as we're clicking on different series, which is different um, salesperson name, we're gonna have the data pop up to showing different detail reports. So let's just click a couple more to give you a better looking. So that's pretty much everything for today's lesson. The draw and linkage between table and chart. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.